This three minute egg is about using time for art. We're all so busy these days, sometimes it's hard to figure out how to do that, how to, how to carve out a little bit of time for something like art. I want to tell you a story about this uh, aquatin of Ann Applebee's. It was hanging in our gallery and uh, a woman was looking at it and when Tiffany Harker, our gallery associate, walked by, the woman said, uh, is there anything here? And Tiffany said, it's a landscape. The artist used all the colors of a place in Verona, Italy that she was in. And the woman said, oh. And then she went back to looking at it and she stood there for quite a long time. And then she bought it and she took it home with her. It reminded me of a vacation that I went on recently with my husband and we got off a plane in the middle of the Gobi Desert in Mongolia and I looked around and I said to him, is there anything here? We sort of slightly considered getting on the next plane out, but we didn't. And by the time we did leave a week later, we were changed, but the landscape hadn't changed, but we had. The amount of time, actually, the, the hours and minutes or week that you would spend looking at a work of art or that the artist would spend making it isn't so important. On the artist's side, it's really about a lifetime of commitment. It's about the amount of time that built up to that particular piece. On the person's part who's looking at the work, it starts there in a way with that particular image and grows and grows over time. Whether or not you take it home, you have that, it's become something that you can use in your life. So I think really this part of what I'm trying to say is about not taking the next plane out, but giving it just a commitment of full attention for whatever amount of time it seems to need.